Hello all, this is Manjusha Bosle from KKVAK Polytechnic Nashik. I welcome you all in this video on topic user defined functions to write in Python programming language. The objective of this video is to develop relevant user defined functions for the given problem using Python code. So I hope after watching this video you all will be able to write your own functions in Python programming language. So let us start with the function. Now the function can be defined as a group of related statements that perform a specific task. For example, if I want to write some code of statement again and again in my program. So instead of writing that code again and again or repetitively, I will write that code inside the function and call the function again and again. So calling function is very simple than writing the code again and again. So function help break our program into smaller and modular chunks which is very important aspect of programming language that is modularity. As our program go grows larger and larger function make it more organized and manageable. One of the advantage of function is because of modularity it becomes easier to debug that means if an error occur then it is easy to find out or trace the error because of function. A function is a block of code which runs only when it is called otherwise it is not going to execute. You can pass data known as parameter to the function and after execution of function it produces or returns the data as a result. Now to write the function in Python programming language the syntax is first we have to use def keyword then name of function then inside parenthesis you can write the parameters and then you have to put a colon here def keyword is used to declare a function a function name is the important which is used to find out the identity of the function then as per our requirement we can pass the parameter to the function and the colon indicates that is the end of header of the function and start of writing statements within the function. When you press enter after the colon automatically Python gives you indentation. So it start the block of function. First of all you can write the purpose of function as a doc string in triple quote or double quote which is optional. After that you can write the executable statements that you want to execute when you call the function. Then you can go for writing return statement which is also optional. We will talk about return statement afterwards. So as we have seen how to define function or how to write the definition of function the next part is how to call a function. Once we have defined a function we have to call it from anywhere like any another function can call a function a program or the python prompt can also call a function and to call a function we have to simply use the name of function as shown on this slide. Now let us write one user defined function and call it. So here I am using Thony editor and I am writing one user defined function named fun underscore avg. For this I am not passing any parameters. I am just placing the colon but after entering here you can see I got the indentation. I can write here a doc string for example this is my first function and then you can go for printing any message or you can go for writing executable statements. Now if my definition of function is over and if I run this then of course I need to first save the file my file 
here you can see that nothing is printed because still we have not called or made a call to the function so to call a function we have to simply use the name of function fun underscore avg and parenthesis let us run the program again now you got the message now the next part is parameterize function we have written a function without parameter but as I told you the parameters are necessary in function to find out that what input user is passing and what operations we have to perform on the user input so user can pass the information in the form of argument and that arguments will be replaced in the function definition by its parameter so after function name inside the parenthesis we have to place the parameters and you have to place a comma between multiple parameters so here is an example one function is written cube x is the parameter we are operating on the function like we are printing the cube of parameter and while calling the par uh, calling the function we are just passing one number so let us write a function with parameter now I am just modifying this function with two parameter number one and number two and instead of writing all these things I just want to print or return the average of number one and number two now whenever I return something from the function I need to store it somewhere or I have to directly print it so if I am returning from fun underscore avg and if I call this function suppose first I am not passing any parameter we'll see what error occurs see type error that is it required two positional argument so suppose here I am passing two argument 56 comma 78 run nothing is printed because whenever you call the function and if function contain written statement it just return the result but sto store that result you have to use something like suppose I am using here val and I have to use print to print value of val run here you got the average this is how you can use the parameters in user defined functions now to call the functions we can simply use the function name but while passing argument at the time of call we can have different methods the methods are required arguments keyword arguments default arguments and variable length arguments one by one we will discuss this you can call a function by using the following types of formal arguments first we'll go for required arguments required arguments means whatever number of parameters are passed in the definition of function that many arguments you have to pass while calling the function like just now we have seen that if I pass zero parameter inside this function I got an error similarly if I pass only one parameter then if I run this then also I'll get error that one required positional parameter is missing so this is called as required parameter now the next is keyword arguments keyword arguments means while passing the argument you can use the name of parameters that means when you use keyword argument in function call the caller identifies the arguments by the parameter name so there you can change the sequence of parameter and this allow you to skip argument or place them out of order because python interpreter is able to use the keywords 
provided to match the values with the parameter let us try this suppose while calling the function if i write here n1 is equal to 45 comma n2 is equal to 78 and if i run this then i'll get a answer 61.5 that is average of n1 and n2 even if i change the sequence and if i run this then also i'll get the same result that means when you pass the name of parameter here automatically interpreter identifies the sequence of parameter as well as the parameter the next type is default argument now the meaning of default argument is while writing the definition of function you can set the default value for a parameter for example suppose if in this function if i put n2 is equal to 89 and while calling the function i just passed only one value and run this then i will also get the error that means n1 will be replaced by 56 and n2 will be as it is 89 but if i pass here 45 and if i run this then also i'll get result because now instead of 89 the n2 become or it is replaced by 45 now if i say n1 is equal to 89 and n2 is nothing and if i pass here only one argument and if i run this program then i'll get syntax error because the rule of default argument is first there should be non default argument and then there should be default argument so here you have to first write non default argument and then default argument this is all about default argument now the next and last part is variable length arguments you may need to process a function for more arguments than you specified while defining the function these arguments are called as variable length arguments that means whenever you call the function at that time if you don't know that how many arguments you want to pass then in the function definition you can use asterisk and the name of parameter so that while calling the function you can pass the argument independent of function definition let us see one example here suppose if i write here star n1 and if i just return or print n1 and if i call the function fun underscore avg suppose i am not passing anything here and if i run this now here i got an empty tuple so even if i am passing here parameter here it is depend on me that how many parameters i will pass so if i pass here 12 i'll get 12 only one argument or value with tuple if i pass here multiple then i'll get all the values so here at the time of defining function i have just passed one parameter but with asterisk sign that will be replaced by an empty tuple and whenever i will pass multiple arguments at the time of function calling that will be replaced by the tuple with the, those values so an asterisk is placed before the variable name that holds the values of all non keyword variable arguments this tuple remain empty if no additional argument are specified as we have seen in the example and these are the sample output if i 
use empty then the output is empty if I use one argument then output is tuple with one value and if I use multiple argument then this is tuple with multiple values so we have seen how to write user defined functions and how to call those functions by using various methods till this slide the last part of this is what is the purpose of written statement unlike another programming languages python is not having written statement compulsory the statement written just exit a function and while exiting it just pass the result back to the caller so whenever you use the return and whenever you return the result you have to store it anywhere and then you have to print it a return statement with no argument means it is returning nothing but if you write some statement after return statement then they will never execute let us see the example suppose instead of print if I write here return suppose n1 comma n2 and suppose here I write n1 plus n2 and while calling the function if I directly print here print fun underscore avg I am passing here two parameters suppose 56 comma 78 if I run this I am getting the result but if I enter here you can see that after return statement I am not getting any indentation that means now I can write the statement out of function but if I by mistakenly write print statement suppose by and if I run this then you can see that you are just getting the average and not the by message that means after return statement there is nothing which will be executing so this is all about writing user define or our own functions in python programming language and calling those functions thank you all